Hi, I'm Nadia, an engineer at Liquid Instruments, and today I'll walk you through setting up the MOKU Time and Frequency Analyzer to measure waveform characteristics like frequency, rise time, and pulse width. Accurately measuring these characteristics is an essential function to perform in your lab for anything from verifying a reference signal to beginning to characterize an oscillator. In this video, we'll be using the MOKU platform from Liquid Instruments, a reconfigurable suite of test and measurement instruments integrated into a single FPGA-based device. You may have heard the Time and Frequency Analyzer instrument referred to as an event counter, universal counter, time interval analyzer, and more, but it accomplishes the same function, detecting events and analyzing intervals between them with very high precision. First, we'll set up a frequency counter. For this, we want to measure the interval between successive rising edges of our waveform. Typically, an instrument like the MOKU phase meter is the best option for a very precise frequency measurement. The time and frequency analyzer can be easily adapted to this application as well. To set this up in software, let's generate a test signal to measure first. In multi-instrument mode on our MOKU Pro, I'll add a waveform generator to slot 1 and a time and frequency analyzer to slot 2. In the waveform generator, I'll generate a simple 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak 10 megahertz square wave with a 50% duty cycle and a period of 100 nanoseconds. The time and frequency analyzer is where we'll set up our frequency counter. First, we need to configure our event detectors. While we can use up to two event detectors in multi-instrument mode and four in single instrument mode, we only need to detect one event for this application, the rising edge of the test signal. Let's set event A to trigger on the rising edge of input 1 at 0 millivolts. For this example, I'll choose a 100 millisecond windowed acquisition for a stable histogram view. Now let's set up our interval analyzer. We want to measure the entire period, so we'll measure from event A to the next time we detect event A. This ensures we capture a full cycle of our waveform and can analyze if our interval deviates from the expected frequency. Select frequency to view our interval statistics as frequency in units of hertz and verify our signal with the current interval measurement, maximum, minimum, and mean. They should all be around 10 megahertz since our source frequency is constant. On the histogram, we can view our interval distribution. Again, the distribution should be very narrow since we are measuring a known stable test signal. We can export the live statistics and histograms for further analysis. Next, let's measure the rise time of a pulse. In the waveform generator, change the waveform shape to a pulse with a frequency of 10 kHz, rise time of 10 microseconds, and a pulse width of 50 microseconds. We'll add a 500 millivolt offset to make it easier to verify our results. In the time and frequency analyzer, we need to configure our event detectors to start an interval at 10% of our maximum amplitude and end at 90% of the maximum amplitude. For a 1 volt amplitude, we'll want to trigger event A on the rising edge of input A at 100 millivolts, and event B to trigger on the rising edge of input A at 900 millivolts. Our interval will measure from event A to event B. We should see our expected rise time on the interval statistics. We expect a rise time of 8 microseconds. And finally, let's measure the width of our pulse. So far, we've been detecting events on the rising edges of our signal. For pulse width, we need to measure from event A, the rising edge of our waveform, to event B, the falling edge of our waveform. Configure event A with a threshold of 500 millivolts on the rising edge of input A. Configure event B with a threshold of 500 millivolts, but triggering on the falling edge of input A. Our interval will be from event A to event B. On the interval statistics, we can view the pulse width of 50 microseconds and view our distribution on the histogram. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to configure the MOKU Time and Frequency Analyzer to measure frequency, rise time, and pulse width. The MOKU TFA is available on all MOKU devices. Visit liquidinstruments.com to learn more or request a demo. See you next time.